Well, hey there, happy day two of the Live Challenge Workshop. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, also known as Pajama Grandma, in actually one of my favorite roles in, in Bigger Pair of Pajamas because I'm hopping on a little early today and doing part of our uh, Live Challenge because I'm having my granddaughter and I'm going to have her overnight, and so I'm not sure how quiet it's going to be around noontime. So I want to hop on live and share the, the crux, the core of what we're going to talk about today. And I don't have my workbook and I don't have my notes or anything in front of me in order to pull up what we're covering, the whole detail of today. Um, so I just want to cover a piece of it. And the piece I want to cover right now, early this morning, is the piece about what's in it for them. What's in it for your the people you serve, the people that you want to do a challenge for, why, why would they want to be involved in your challenge? Now yesterday we talked about you and how you handle challenges and how you want to handle challenges and challenges, you know, I think we should all, and I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, we should do like a little challenge inventory and look back at our past and say, well, what challenges have I faced? How did I handle them? What did I do that worked really well? What could I have done or what do I wish I had done differently? And now we're all facing challenges. How are we handling this challenge? Uh, is it, are we freaking out because that's how, that's how we've always responded to change and challenges in the past? Or are we looking for the things that we can do? And we want to look at ourselves. Yesterday was all about looking at ourselves. Did you do your action item? Did you ask yourself, what is it that you want? What is it that you really want? Uh, for many of us right now, it's just we want to make sure that we're still in business when the whole coronavirus thing is over, right? We want to make sure that we have a business to go back to if we're quarantined at home right now, like many of us are. So today, one of the things, one of the, the fastest, easiest, most effective and beneficial to your customers, the people that you serve, things that you can do for them is to offer them a challenge. Maybe you offer them a challenge of how to survive and how to get through the this, this stay at home, this quarantine situation. How to, if you serve parents, how to find amazing things to do with your kids and keep your kids busy what, during this, this challenge and this, this time. You know, it's always welcome to, to know a bunch of fun and creative things to do with the people you love and care about. You know, if you're uh, single, there's, there's so many things that you could do. It's, it's, it's limitless the number of things that you could do and offer your customers. It's what's, what's important to them. And so <clears throat> we can work on and think creatively about that uh, more so throughout the challenge. But today, this little piece I want to do early and kind of ahead of time in case I only have a few minutes at noon is to talk about what's in it for them. What are the things and why the heck would anybody want to do a challenge with you? Well, number one, it helps them to faster and easier and more efficiently and fun and more effectively get a result that they want. It helps them to get a specific result that they want in the shortest time possible. It helps them, I'm gonna steal my magnifying glass and cheat a little bit here. It helps them solve a problem or improve a situation or get a, get something that they've, they've wanted and maybe for a long time. Uh, you might do a challenge to help people to attract customers. You might do a challenge to help your customers get more customers online. Maybe they've never been online. You might do a challenge for your customers to say, here's how you get online, or here's how you solve a problem, or here's how you do whatever in a very short, condensed period of time. And that's of, of great value. And people right now, they have the time and the attention to spend and to do and to create their own challenge, or they, to spend and create a challenge to serve their customers to ensure that they do still have a business to go back to. Um, you get, as a customer or a person going through a challenge, you get step-by-step -step action items and you know exactly what to do now and next and next and next. It's a way to teach a framework, but it's a way for people to then acquire their own way, their own process of and their own strategy for getting a result over and over again. Because somebody can do a challenge with you once to learn how to do something and get a result, say attract new customers or solve a problem or improve a situation or do something technical even. Um, you can teach them a hack or a strategy or a tip or a trick um, <clears throat> that makes their life better. And not only will they have learned the process once, they can use that process in their life over and over and over again going forward. Um, yeah, it's a, you, you teach them a proven, they get a proven results getting strategy, which is awesome. Um, and they know if they do what you tell them to do day by day by day by day, if they actually put in the 
energy and do the action item and do the thing you teach them each day that they will get the result or they will get a result and they'll know if they did or didn't do based on the result that they get at the end of your challenge. If you're teaching people how to attract five new customers to their business online in a five day challenge and they do three of the steps but they skip two because they're not comfortable doing those and they get one or no new customers throughout the challenge, you know, they might try to blame you and say, ah, this doesn't work, but guess what? They weren't for you anyway because they know in their heart that they didn't really do the things that they needed to do that were the hardest for them, which is why we have a challenge <clears throat> to get the result that you guaranteed that they would get or said that they would get. Um, it's an awesome thing for the people going through your challenge because they know that they're not alone. They've got help and support, not only from you, but with, from the other people going through the challenge. That's the power of setting up a group, that a private group that you have the challengers go through um, and, and join as part of the challenge. Um, they get an opportunity to prove to themselves that they can do something, that they can get a result. And uh, that increases their confidence. It gives them um, a quick win. People need a quick win when they're moving toward a goal or objective. That's why it's so powerful to, to create a challenge, a very specific challenge to get a very specific result that moves your people, the people that you're serving toward a specific goal or objective, a bigger specific goal or objective, but a little thing that teaches them and gets them a really quick win and a really quick result. It's one of the reasons I love customer challenges and getting customers that are attracting customers because it's really easy. If people just follow the five steps, it's it's a no-brainer to attract new customers to you. It's, it's very, very easy to get people a result. And once they get a result, then of course they want to do it again and again and again. And then they're attracted to you because you have taught them a system that gets some results and has increased their you know, confidence in their self-esteem and the things that they want in their life. Um, you know, the, it's really interesting and, and the power of this quick win. Uh, I say, and I've said to my kids all the time, and I see it in my daughter, uh, still, the hardest thing that we do, really the hardest thing any one of us does every single day is to get out of bed. Now, I've had chronic pain for a long time and so literally in my 20s the hardest thing I had to do and I, I did every day was getting out of bed physically getting out of bed and I think that's maybe where I adopted this idea but it's really true once we get out of bed and start moving then we go and we go to the bathroom and we brush our teeth and we wash our face and we get ready and it, it builds and gets momentum but the hardest part of that is getting up and and propelling our body out of bed. It's the same thing in the power of these challenges. The hardest part is getting moving. And if we do a little thing every day and then we get a result during the challenge for people, if they get a result, it builds the momentum and it keeps them moving and gets over the inertia. So it's just like, and it's as powerful as getting out of bed in the morning, right? Uh, it proves to other people that they can get a result, that they are really doing what they're saying that they're going to do, that they're committed, and that, you know, because a lot of us get naysayers and people around us and we say, hey, I'm going to start a business, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to learn a new sport, or I'm going to lose 50 pounds, or I'm going to do whatever it is, people look at us and they shake their head and they roll their eyes when we're not looking and they say, yeah, sure you are, sure you are, you never stuck to anything in your life. So it proves to the naysayers in our lives, and I think pretty much all of them have them or have had them. That one person that just really niggles at us and, and tells us we can't do something um, or makes us believe that we can't do something. And it, we just want to kind of not stick it to them, but kind of stick it to them and prove to them, hey man, yeah, I just got this result. Isn't this awesome? Um, it, it allows them to be an example of positive possibility and what is possible for themselves, their family, their kids, and for other people as well because they can turn around and they can also help other people to get a, a similar result. I'm gonna save that for when we do our live today. We're just gonna talk about what's in it for them, what's in it for your, your the people you do the challenge for to do it with you. Now, even if you don't have a business, you could do a challenge right now, right, just to serve other people and help them through this time. Uh, I would love to do a daily challenge, like with my granddaughter, for people that are taking care of, you know, four-year-olds or just four-year-olds, specifically four-year-olds, because there's challenges, but fun activities and daily, you know, we, she and I brainstormed a list of fun things that we can do every day. And I would love to do one of those things every day with her and share it with other people to give them ideas of 
what they can be doing with their kids at home, doing what they can with what they've got right now, right? Um, so that's, you can do that kind of challenge as well. And that attracts people to you on a, a social level that might not have anything to do with business. It just might make you feel better and feel like you're doing something in this time of change that where otherwise you feel like you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Well, guess what? There's always something we can do. And you can, can be the example then for other people uh, in dealing with situations that we, we kind of feel like we don't know how to deal with sometimes. Another advantage for the people that are doing the challenge with you is that it can increase their status. It can make them the expert or the person that can make you or well, or them um, feel important and feel good about um, doing something and moving forward in their life and getting a result. Uh, it can create positive pressure, which is called eustress, for you know for them to continue and to share their assignments. When people, when we ask them to share their assignments um, on the, the private page, guess what? The people that share their assignments usually get a ton of praise. They also get a ton of value and a ton of feedback because other people chime in and say, and tell them what they think or, or how they feel about what it is that they said, or hey, I felt that way too, and this is why I did A, B, C. So you not only get, uh, they not only get help and support and coaching from the leader of the challenge, you, they also get it from the other people that are involved in the challenge. You get this whole sense of community and camaraderie and you know, there's the whole, the people you spend the most time with, the five people you spend the most time with determine the trajectory of your life and the direction that your life goes. And so if you're spending your time, even if it's a five day period, with like-minded people that are moving in the same direction, trying to achieve the same goal as you, that is incredibly powerful than spending time around four people that tell you you're crazy, right? Um, what else is in it for them? It helps them get over their own false beliefs and the, the stuff that's going on in their mind that says, for whatever reason that they're good, not good enough, or they're a poser, or they don't deserve the result that they want, or they don't deserve to get the, and move toward the thing that they want, um, that you're doing a challenge about. Uh, it makes it easy for people to um, know the expected time frame that it's gonna take to get a result, and then to commit to that time frame, right? One of the problems with us doing anything as human beings is that we think it's gonna to be too hard. We think it's gonna to take too much time, too much energy, too much attention, or too much money for us to get a result that we want. Yeah, we want it, but we're not willing to give up the resources. I hate the word sacrifice. We're not willing to trade some resources for the thing that we want, right? We don't think it's valuable enough. So it makes it easy for people to know, hey, 30 minutes every day, I'm gonna to have to listen to this video because Sharon talks longer than I thought she was going to. And then I'm just gonna to have to do the one thing that she says and, and then share that in the comments and the action item page. Super easy peasy. Now, I am being a little more long-winded in this because we've got more time now to unravel these, these systems, these things, these processes, the framework, which we'll talk about tomorrow. Um, we've got more time to do it right now than we ever had in history and probably than we ever will again in our lifetime. So I wanna make sure I'm covering things a little bit more deeply, like all the things that are in it for the people that you can serve with your challenge. Um, so easy for them. It also reduces uncertainty because Again, I guess I was just talking about that. Uncertainty is one of the things that stops us in our tracks in terms of making a decision or making a choice or committing to something or trying something, right? It actually gives people a chance to try something. You know, and most all of the challenges I've done are for free and it lets them try something before they, and, and they get to, you know, it's like demoing products. I did a lot of food demos in my day. Uh, it's like letting people have a taste before they commit to buying the whole package, right? It's like um, letting them have a little taste of what it is that you have to offer, a little taste of what success feels like for them and knowing exactly how much time and energy they'll have to commit and then getting an opportunity to feel what it feels like to have that success, to get those little wins that can move them forward. Um, so they get to actually achieve results while they're learning a new process and sometimes feels like they're just getting the results and they're not really learning the process. It's a great example of how you get to give them what they need in addition to what they want. Remember, people will only ever buy what they want. 
they'll sell them by what they need unless it's toilet paper like right now but um, that goes to the bottom of the, of the totem pole when other things take priority um, so we need to make sure that we're not just selling people what they want and then then leaving them hanging and not giving them what we know they need in order to get the result and be successful in any any situation um, it allows them well it allows you the opportunity and I, I think we talked about this yesterday I'm not sure to offer them more services and solve the future problem that you're creating as they get the result in the challenge but it gives them a chance to determine and decide are you the person that they want to work with to get that next problem solved or to get that next solution and you may or may not be I'm definitely not for everybody right I uh, I tend to be a little bit of a taskmaster and I'm, I'm really direct with what I say in the feedback I give people and the questions that I ask and I ask a lot of hard questions and I don't wait for your answer I, I'm like I'm like go out and think about that and then when you've thought about it get back to me and we'll, we'll go we'll go to the next thing we'll go to the next step um, it allows your participants an opportunity to invest in themselves to invest in them their own their skills their abilities their uh, emotions it, it hits on a lot of different fronts what people are longing for and what they they need to feel better about their life and themselves um, it allows them to make an investment in themselves in time energy money or whatever and usually it's not money right like I said most of the challenges that I do are free because I want people to get a taste of what they can have and do and be and achieve if they just you know put a little bit of their energy and time and attention into something and then just as soon as they learn something apply it immediately learn something apply it immediately because I've seen how powerful that's been in my life the times where I've learned a whole bunch of stuff and just learned it and not applied it as I was going along very rarely did I go back and start at the beginning and then apply as I went along a couple things I've done that for that were really powerful and I saw how amazing that was versus just reading something and then going on to the next thing so today's action item, I'll give you a hint about what that's going to be. It's going to be that you're going to, and I'm not looking at the assignment. It's on, it's on the worksheet page. I don't know what page. It's on probably about, I have no idea. It's, I'll tell you when we, when we meet at, at lunchtime. Uh, but you're going to share what, who your ideal customer or client is or who the person you want to do a challenge for is. Maybe it's somebody totally different right now than it would have been a week ago. Uh, who is that? And... What is their problem and then or, or situation and what challenge are you gonna offer them in what you know to get a result to get the result they want or maybe just the result that they want I'll have to look and see what's what it is but I think I talked about um, just sharing what are the three biggest things that are in it for them to to do your challenge to be to participate with you in a challenge Again, we'll talk about that at noon. I just wanted to hop on and do this kind of as a pre-work in case the four-year-old's going crazy today and excited and um, I have to cut it short. I'll just go through uh, the whole ideal client thing and why it's so important to know who you're serving as you're creating your challenge. You know what result you want to get for them and you can't decide what result you want to get for people until you know who it is you want to do your challenge for. And then we'll, we'll talk about that and give you your assignment. I knew I couldn't beat my alarm. Go out, make an amazing day. Do this. Listen to this video, but listen to the noon one first. Um, if you're listening after the fact, I had a couple of people pop on live, but not too many because it's very early in the morning. Uh, go out, have an amazing day, and I will be with you tomorrow. We're going to talk about the challenge framework, but I'll be with you at noon. Just not sure how much time we'll get, but I'll actually pull up the the workbook so I know what we're supposed to cover. Have an awesome and amazing day, and I will be with you soon.